Welcome to the world's toughest culinary competition, Next Level Chef. Go, let's go, come on. In an epic three-story kitchen, the only way to move to the top is to cook your way up. Look at this kitchen, huh? Pig's ears, what the hell? This is what we get to work with in the basement. We are just going crazy for the scraps. Each week, professional chefs, home chefs, and social media chefs have seconds to grab. The platform is here. Minutes to cook. Focus. And just moments to deliver their dishes. Two, go, go, go. One. Who will rise to the challenge? This is going to be the toughest. First come, first serve, so sucks to be you. The most competitive. Oh, 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 oh. And the most grueling season of Next Level Chef yet. And starting tonight, for the first time ever, each chef will need to cook on all three levels in a brutal audition. Imagine the NFL combine of cooking. Just to make it onto one of our teams. Any standout favorites? It might be this guy right here. <laughs> Opa! The competition is definitely leveling up. This is crazy, man. Opa! 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 <laughs> With an amazing one-year mentorship. People like me don't get this kind of opportunity. And $250,000 on the line. It means so much to me. I've dreamed about this since I was a child. Only one can climb their way to the top. And it all starts right now. Wow, three of the greatest to ever put on an apron. I have to pinch myself to really believe I'm here. Like, it's me, Mara, a home cook. I'm used to cooking in front of my kids. Good morning. Now, I hope you've all got your game faces on because this is going to be the most grueling season of Next Level Chef yet. Only the best will survive. This year, we had thousands of submissions from chefs around the country, all wanting their shot at making it to the next level. So this season, unlike any other, you'll have to earn your place on one of our teams. And your audition starts now. Oh man, auditions are crazy. But I've always had to earn my spot playing football. I've been preparing for this moment all my life. I'm ready to show the competition, hey, Zay Dollar got what it takes to be the next level chef. Eight of you will start in the basement, and after each cook, one of you will be eliminated until only five are left standing on the top. Today, we are starting with the eight social media chefs. Come on, guys. We'll start where every great chef has started, at the bottom. You'll have to prove yourself in that ridiculous basement where the conditions are scary, but the ingredients are even more scarce. Social media chefs, all of you can head to the elevator and I will meet you down in the basement. Richard and Gordon will be watching your every move from the lounge. Oh, brother. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. I'm excited. One shot, one kill. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's go, Tim. Holy. Ooh. Ooh. Welcome to the basement. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Scouting for a uh, first pick here, potentially. What are we mashing? That almost looks like it was made for you. This is my size. This is what we like. Right here. <laughs> Someone left their oil cans here. I've cooked in some basement kitchens in Brooklyn before. Look at that. <laughs> but I'm shocked by how bad some of the tools are. Wow, it's a far away to the top. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? Let's go! Let's go! How are you feeling? How are you feeling? <laughs> Wonderful. How are you doing? All right, guys, line up. This challenge is inspired by one of TikTok's hottest trends. Ooh. Any guesses? There's so many. Every, I can't keep up. People have been making phenomenal dishes out of canned meat. Ah. Yeah. We must be on different sides of TikTok, because I have never seen canned meat on my For You page. <laughs> 20 minutes to make a dish out of canned meat. For one of you, the audition 
will end down here, right? Don't let that be you. Yes, Chef. Yes, yes, chef. Please line up. Hands on the railing. Woo! Let's go, Matt. Let's get it, baby. Wow. I could feel everyone's heart beating against my own because we're so close together. Let's go, y'all. Come on, turn up. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We are like sardines in a can, smushed. Let's go. Ooh. It's coming, it's okay. coming. Here it is. Here it is, baby. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. OK, my little legs, we got to go. I hone in on shrimp in a can. Meat in a can, it's gross. But I'm in the basement. Ah. Everybody needs to grab a protein. Man, it's crazy. The platform is nothing like I practiced for. If you don't grab and you're just looking around, you're going to be stuck with the worst possible ingredients. First thing I see is canned clams. I see pasta right under it, so I grab that as well. Oh, I see this onion and I go to grab it, but when Isaiah grabbed it at the same time, I thought it's either him or me. Not today, Isaiah. I love you, but not today. Five seconds, guys, five seconds. Oh, get out of the way, bro. <laughs> let's go, baby, let's go, baby. Let's go. Your 20 minutes starts right now. Let's go. Day one, fighting into the draft. This is a first look. Oh, we working, baby, we working. What are you gonna wow us with to make us pick you to be on our team? This is their opportunity, their chance to show us that they can stand up to these pro chefs. You can stand up to the home cooks. How are we feeling, Gabby? Good, chef. Awesome, so talk to me about your ingredients. I got some canned chicken, and I think what I'm gonna do is maybe make a little Asian play on chicken and dumplings. Love that. Yeah. And you do have a little bit of restaurant experience. I'm kind of more known for my role on Epicurious. I work on a series called Pro vs. Novice, where I'm the novice, but I'm really excited to hopefully go back and be the pro. I live in Brooklyn. I'm in a cute little brownstone apartment with this adorable garden that I completely renovated, and it's my little spot of nature in Brooklyn. In the morning, when I go out and I say hello to my plants, I just greet them and I tell them how good they're doing. I'm just like, oh my, you're doing so good. I am who I am. <laughs> on the way to Fort Green Farmer's Market to see what's in season. Things I love showcasing on my social media are fresh produce. What can I find at my farmer's market? I love just teaching people. You can be creative with plant-based ingredients. I want to inspire other people to show them something new and beautiful and will connect them more with their food and with the earth. You got this, Gabby. Thank you, Chef. How are we doing, Tim? Coming Making along, progress? Chef. Yes. What'd you grab? I got canned salmon. I'm going to make a salmon patty croquette with some country corn and some bananas to oh, add we a love that sweetness and depth of flavor you to have, the corn. And you yourself have a lot of depth, right? You're one of the most seasoned chefs around here, if you yes, will. Chef. And those five beautiful kids are waiting for you to get back home with that yeah. win, right? Absolutely. They're looking forward to seeing Pop. Give me a minute. My kitchen's going to smell amazing. Two and a half years ago, my kids inspired me to get on social media. Don't be stingy. Now, we're two million followers and subscribers on all my social channels. That's fantastic. My kids would describe me, Dad's a total goofball. Chris Gale. I repeat some of their cool phrases and like, Dad, don't do that. That's a little sus. You got it. 15 minutes, guys, right? You want to be drafted. Woo! How we feeling? One of you, the audition will end down here. Talk to me about what you grabbed, Nicole. I grabbed some pressed ham. I'm gonna get the pasta on there. How often do you work with canned meat? Not very often. I like fresh meats. <laughs> Brittany, how Hi. are we feeling? I feel really good. I picked up the canned beef. So I'm doing eggs benedict, like a cheeseburger eggs benedict. Like I need something buttery and saucy and creamy, right? And so I was like, okay, I can do hollandaise. I wouldn't do a benedict in 20 minutes with canned meat. No, no chance. Let's go, guys. Let's go, Isaiah. These auditions are chaotic. It feels like you're Michael Jordan with three seconds left on the clock, and you got to hit the game-winning shot. What you got here, chef? Some canned clowns. I'm going to make a, a nice little pasta. And I feel like I got a pretty good grab. But I'm feeling a little nervous. I want to get a spot so badly in the middle kitchen. And, and what ingredient is on, on your apron? Oh, man, <laughs> the clams got me. I have to turn up the gas, because this competition is not built for the week. At all. Make sure Thank these flavors sir. are cohesive. Yes, sir. 
Ten minutes down. I thought, I thought you was about to say, like, two minutes left. I was like, oh, no. I can take two minutes away if you'd like. Please don't. <laughs> chef Matt, how tall are you? I am six foot seven. Six foot seven? I'll tell you a secret, Chef. Please, please. I'm six, six, and five, eight. <laughs> don't tell anybody. You just round up, anybody. right? Like, Smart. Let's make some Tuscan shrimp pasta. I'm a pretty big guy. In school, I definitely did get picked on a lot. Um, I got into fights a lot as a kid. Well, I barely graduated high school. And for a little bit there, I, I really had no idea what I was going to do. All right, you need a chef? So it all started on Snapchat. I got people joining and just watching me cook, swiping up, saying, I love watching these. Please don't stop. Thank God that I found food, because it was kind of like therapy for me. <laughs> Without it, I have no idea where I'd be today. What do you have in the pan here? Canned corned beef. Love that. Man with a plan. If we're drafting a football team, I'm, I got my offensive line yeah, definitely, yeah. figured out right there. I'm going yeah. with Matt. Brittany. Hey. Tell me about your dish. What'd you grab? I grabbed canned shrimp. We're going to do like butter garlic noodle. Butter so, garlic uh, noodle shrimp. Yes, yes. My son is one and a half. He calls him new Oh my God. So you're, this dish is inspired by your son. <laughs> yes. I have some Louisiana flair in my uh -huh. family. Are you going to bring that Bayou flavor in this dish? That is my plan. I'm Brittany. I'm from Kendall, Louisiana, and I'm a social media chef. Mommy. I live with my husband and my little son, John. My son, when he was like seven months old, he slept with a whisk. <laughs> like that was instead of a teddy bear, he had a whisk and he would carry it everywhere. Tonight for supper, y'all, we're making alligator sauce piquant. There's like this running joke in Louisiana that like most people are gonna see roadkill and be like, ew, but in Louisiana, we're like, what's that taste like? I've cooked snake and turtle and deer and a rabbit and squirrel and possum. Oh, I forgot to say frogs. I love frogs. We cranking this thing, boy. Let's go. Kitchen's really tough to work in, right? You got to learn it along the way. This is day one for you all. Love that. Love that. Love when everything falls over. I just have to get my together. Relax. Just relax. Oh my God. I kept messing my post eggs up. And it was because of the freaking pan. And I had a plastic spoon. Why are there big plastic serving spoons? And so my eggs are falling apart because of the spoon. Oh, my God. How much time do we have left? Three minutes, guys. You got something to prove. You're social media chef. So I've got the tuna fish, and I'm like, all right, I got to make a fritter. Yeah, that didn't work. But I need to put a sauce on this plate. Bro, how am I supposed to puree this? I got two minutes to plate this thing. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, All of a sudden, my pan burst into flames. Let's go. Come on. I feel like I'm in a prison kitchen. I might be going home, though. Guys, 45 seconds left. Tim, don't forget about your fritters. Yes, chef. What's burning? Uh, shoot. Do you want to get to the middle level? Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. And then where? And then where? Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, guys. Wow. Intense. You guys are watching. What'd you guys think? 20 minutes. I mean, you guys spend that amount of time in makeup and look for your ring lights, right? <laughs> <laughs> Shall we start? Please, please. Okay, excellent. So, first up, we have a chicken and dumpling. This dish was cooked by Gabby. She had the canned chicken. That's good. What a beautiful looking dish, yeah? Yeah, if I didn't know, I wouldn't have guessed it was canned meat. Smart to use that in a broth. So next up, Isaiah grabbed canned clams, and he made a pasta. Mm. Very acidic. Absolutely, yeah. It's almost doing a little too much, right? Totally. Keep it simple. And this one? We have a canned tuna fritter from Jordan. Delicious fritter. Mm. Um, needs a sauce. Yeah, needs 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 more. No right. immersion blender inside. And show. so you see a lot of dishes here with sauces on. Absolutely. You look a little frazzled at the end there, Jordan. Um, I definitely have a huge respect for this basement. I <laughs> hate the basement. <laughs> it's tough. Stay out the basement yes, if you're here long enough. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Next. Next up from Matt, we have a crispy corn beef finished with a little bit of honey. Good heat in there. I like the idea of the sweet versus the salty canned meat. If I'm honest, it's very sweet. Next up, we have Nicole. She had the canned ham. Yeah. Made a beautiful pasta. It's giving me like stroganoff vibes. It's a smart idea. 
I like it. I think the sauce is delicious. Super creative. Thank you. Here we have a canned salmon fritter. It's coming from Tim. You've sort of created something unique with the canned salmon in the fritter. The fritter's delicious. Okay, next up, Brittany used ramen noodles with uh, canned shrimp inspired by her one and a half year old at home. Uh, what does he call the dish? New news. New news. Um, whenever I get off work in the afternoons, he'll go like to the pantry and he'll, mama cook, mama cook, and he'll grab new news. Listen, I think the idea is there. It needs a broth. Noodles need to absorb. Those shrimp are already cooked, so they go like really super hard when you cook okay. them again. Yeah, I like the bounce of the noodles. That's what ramen noodles provide. I'm not quite as enthusiastic about the bounce of the, the okay. shrimp being overcooked. Okay, yeah. This, we have a play on a uh, burger inspired Benedict from Brittany. Uh, poached egg with a hollandaise. Did you make hollandaise in 20 minutes? I did. I, it was risky. It takes a professional chef 20 minutes to make a proper hollandaise. Yeah. I have absolutely done eggs benedict several times in 20 minutes. I brag about it being 20 minutes. Is it a hollandaise? It's actually quite good. Thank you. Give us a moment. We have some decisions to make and talk about amongst ourselves. Thank sure. you. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Wow. That's tough, though, yeah. isn't it? There's some great dishes there. The Benedict burger, I got one kid saying that there's no sauce, no time, and somebody else making yeah. a, a, a hollandaise sauce. Good job. Thanks. Those prawns are so rubbery. I mean, they're already cooked. I am so scared. No, you'll be hungry. Something wrong with that. The Guilian clams, there was something tainted. It missed really a overpowered. missed opportunity. Absolutely. We agreed? Yeah. I think We're so. Good. Yeah. Okay, so we've come to a decision. The first three chefs heading up to the middle level are gonna be Nicole, Gabby, and Tim. Well done. Well done. Congratulations. Good work. Please head to the elevator. Oh, oh my God. Such relief. <laughs> the next three people who are making it to the next level are Jordan, Brittany Gaines, and Matt. Well done. Please head to the elevator. Join the Good others. Job. Thank you. Good job. 20 minutes in the basement, it's tough. You might have to chef more, but me, a tuna fritter, just took me to the next floor. Let's go. Isaiah, Brittany. Unfortunately, that leaves the two of you. The road for one of you ends here. And the person that is moving to the next level is... The person that is moving to the next level is... Isaiah. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Please head to the elevator. Ah. Sorry. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You should be so proud. Your son would love this dish. That's who you kept in your heart and your spirit when you made this. And you succeeded in that. Thank you, Brittany. Thanks, Good Brittany. luck to you. Thank you. Well done. Good luck. Take care. I felt like I did my best. I just wasn't ready to go home, and not so early. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you, Thank you Chef. Chef. Chef Richard. Take it away. Yep. Oh, okay. This is a step up. Welcome to the next okay. level. Let's go middle level. I like it a lot. The middle kitchen is night and day from the basement, and it's actually not too different from the kitchen that I cook in. I see that Vitamix and I'm thinking, here we are. We've made it home. The smoothie girl is back with her blender. All right, everyone, how are we doing? Good, good man. Doing good? We're pumped good, up? Place. Okay, yeah. let's line up, everyone, okay? All right, you got a hand on the wall. You have everything you need up here on the middle level. So today, what I want you to do here is to make a viral 
dish. This is your million plus viral dish. And I just want to remind you, Gordon and Aisha are watching everything that you do, and we're scouting the people that we want on our team. Am I clear? Yes. 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 Okay, the platform is heading down. When you see the green light, you can go. Good luck. Let's go, y'all. Turn up. Come on. With this grab, I'm not playing. I got rockets strapped to my shoes. I am going to be the first one to that grab. Go. 30 seconds. You need a bunch of ingredients. Grab everything that you can. Ooh. I fell. I freaking fell going for the platform. Oh, oh. Are you all right? Go. Good. Okay. But there's still shrimp here, as I got the shrimp. Protein, you have to grab a protein. I see chicken, I'm grabbing that. And immediately I think fried chicken. Who doesn't love fried chicken? So I have a vegetable. Only a couple seconds left. If you can reach it, it's yours as it goes. Got the whole Back thing. to your stations, let's go. Your 20 minutes starts now. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Okay, Brittany, what are, you, what are you thinking about? I'm doing like a spicy sesame soy miso shrimp taco. Okay, good. Shrimp taco. You should kind of set it like a question. Yeah. What is this? Tortillas. Tortillas. Oh, what? Yeah. You're making your own tortillas? Yeah. Woo! I like it, baby. I like it. I like it, too. This may be stupid. No, no reward. Okay. Gabby, you got the tilapia. What are you going to make? A little romesco type sauce. Okay. I'm going to do this with an egg noodle. Okay. With a little bit of a breadcrumb on top. Okay. There's a lot going on. Yes. So just keep moving, okay? You got it. Thank you, chef. Big flavors. Yes, Big sir. flavors. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jordan, what's up? All right, so we got a skirt steak. We're going to get this nice mid-rare. Then we're going to do like a corn, chili, tomato salsa underneath. We're going to elevate it, stack it up. OK. You got to get some flow going, right? Yes, I know sir. you're a hip hop guy. Yes, right? sir. Yes, sir. Oh, so, I like so, that. So am I. Reference. So am I. I said it's Harry Potter. The way I do it is magical. Growing up, I was kind of bullied and picked on, a little insecure. I started rapping when I was really young, and kids just thought it was really funny. For while we raised bands, roll the Lambo. I wanted to lift everyone up because that's what I needed growing up. My culinary journey didn't really blow up until my wife Jacqueline was actually like, you should try doing this on YouTube. And I was like, what? Let's make cranberry sauce. One cup of sugar, two oranges. You know, I thought it was an opportunity to kind of document my journey and my followers could grow mm. with me. And that has just now become my career and a love language between me and my wife. I actually have already had a run in with Chef Ramsey. Dude, what the hell happened there? He reacted to a video of me literally burning my fingerprints off. Ooh. Each finger stuck to the pan, really? Come on, dude, you know better than that. YouTube video. And it amassed over 200 million views across all platforms. My fingerprints are still in here like a year later. You can freestyle with your words. Let's see freestyle, freestyle. with your food, okay? I love it. Five minutes are gone already, Isaiah. How you okay, doing, Okay, what's sir? up, man? How are you? I'm good. All right, I'm what's good. the plan? I'm going to be making a fried chicken thigh. Are these all of your ingredients? Yeah, these are all my ingredients. Okay, so this is a minimalistic dish, right? Yes, yes all right, sir. All right, get yes, going. Sir. All right, Tim, what's going on? Hey, chef. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a pasta. You're yeah. making pasta? Yes, sir. Okay, you struggled with 20 minutes last time. You're going to make fresh pasta right now. I can't play it safe. Okay. Too dangerous. Absolutely. Tim is a knife edge right now. Totally. Okay, so it's a pasta dish with uh, ground gonna turkey. Have ground turkey, some vegetables. You got to get that done. Yes, chef. I love how ambitious some of you are being right now. Homemade pasta, a homemade dough over here. Okay. All right, Nicole. What's the dish we're gonna make? You haven't figured out yet. I'm gonna do a pantered pork loin with a broccoli onion stir fry and a really beautiful bell pepper puree as my sauce. You're used to beating people on stage, right? Yeah. Now you're competing in the kitchen. Yes, sir. I've been competing for as long as I can remember. So I was a competitive dancer all throughout high school and college, and then I also competed in scholarship pageants up until I competed at Miss America in 2018. One of the big stereotypes with pageant girls is always world peace and solve world hunger, but I'm actually doing that. I don't have a smoothie. So I started a smoothie bowl series on my YouTube channel just to see if it worked, and it blew up almost overnight. I'm now literally using food through social media to feed people around the world. Is it the same winning mentality? Absolutely. OK, I yeah. love how you fought downstairs, OK? Keep Thank pushing, you. OK? Thank you. Woo. you all right? Yeah. All right, I am worried about you just because I want you to get that pasta done. Come on, team! Dude, you got to go, man. You got 19 things. You're making a pasta dish. It's a simple cuisine. Simplify your idea right now. You have yes, to. Chef. You have to. 
I make fresh pasta at home all the time, but I'm never really under major time constraints. Is it gonna be done? We're at the halfway point, 10 minutes left. Beautiful, feeling good looking there, baby. All right, Tim, you're up against it, so let's bear down here. Is the pasta cooking? About to go in, chef. Dude, okay, yeah. Look at that turkey, it's raw. What's he doing there now, Tim? Garlic powder. Get your hands off the herbs, Tim. Oh this is why we watch gosh. these. These auditions are so imperative. Make sure that you're tasting everything, okay? Tortilla, you're okay with the, the thickness on it? Uh, Just make sure that the dough gets cooked all the way through, right? And then the shrimp, what are we thinking? I'm taking the shells off and I'm thinking, I'm thinking okay. about not cutting myself. Yeah, yeah, don't cut yourself. Don't, so My concentrate on that. And this knife, not getting along. Five minutes left. Keep pushing, right? Yeah. You didn't come here to go home on the middle floor. No, chef. If someone is. Is anyone worried? No, no chef. You're going to be on that top great. kitchen show. Really good, chef. <gasps> oh. What happened? I just cut myself. Medic. We need a medic up here, guys. We need a medic. There's a lot of blood there. You're right over here. Right over here. Thank you. Who got cut? Oh, oh my God. OK, how you, how you feel? Oh, my God. Ooh. Brittany, you okay? Yes. I think it was a little dramatic, if you ask me. Come down to it. Okay. I guess my body was just rolling with the theater of it all. How much time do we have left, Jeff? Four minutes left. Against the grain, right? Against the grain, okay. What is Jordan doing? Has it rested the steak? All the juice is no. spilling out onto the board. Right. Two minutes left. It's time to start plating. I know that you're all social media chefs. You make beautiful, viral videos that get millions of followers. But focus on making this as beautiful as you can. 30 seconds left. Yes, Chef. You're cutting it close, Tim, but you got it, okay? Now it's go time. You got to get something on a plate now. Now you got to go. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands up, Woo! hands up. Let's go, baby! Oh, yeah! This group of social media chefs, they're coachable. I want people on my team to grow with me. Let's go. Give me Isaiah. Give me Matt. Is Gordon here? Is Taisha still here? Gabby is fantastic. OK, well done, guys. Naisha, Gordon, how fun was that? It was incredible. Uh, incredible. You've leveled up for sure. Should we uh, taste and dive in? Absolutely. So this is Jordan's skirt steak with a little herb pan sauce and a little uh, corn and tomato salsa. I love that you used a fresh salsa to kind of lighten it up. It eats really nicely. Yeah, good job. Thank you. Watching you slice that meat, and then all the juices spewing out all over your board, then you dress the plate. Great potential, but just badly executed at the end. Dagger to the chest. All right, let's get into this crispy chicken with scallions, honey, vinegar. This is Isaiah's dish. So pretty. Very crispy. I can hear it. Chicken's cooked beautifully. Um, I love the restraint. Yeah, I love it. It's hot, it's spicy, and it's incredibly crispy. Great job. Thank you, chef. I'm feeling like I redeem myself. Man, my heart is filled. At this point, if I can be on anybody's team, I'm happy. Let's go. All right, we'll get in here to Matt's dish. And this is a trout crostini with an apple, hazelnut, feta, and dill salad. The 27.8% uh, Scandinavian part of me really enjoys the <laughs> trout and, and dill, but the proportion is a little off here, right? Trout's delicious. Uh, really good indeed. Great potential. Thank you, chef. Chef Ramsay thinks my trout is delicious. I'm going to live with that for the rest of my life, even if I go home right now. OK, so here we go. This is Nicole's dish. It is a spice-seared pork chop with a vegetable stir fry. Yeah, I think it's smart. It's a good play for an audition dish. It wasn't too much, it wasn't too little. Really on point with the seasoning. This is Gabby's quick trip to uh, Spain with tilapia and a romesco sauce and a little bit of anchovy gremolata. Yeah, I mean, as someone who trained in Spain, I, mean, I love the use of like oil and salt and the oceanic flavor that I'm getting from the tilapia and the anchovy. You know, maybe the pasta's a little bit clumpy. You've taken tilapia from this muddy, dense flavor into something elegant, but it, it tastes better than it looks. Really good. 
So this is a handmade tortilla that Brittany made with some glazed shrimp and a uh, yogurt sauce. Really brave, trying to make a tortilla under 20 minutes. Focus on the shrimp, please. The sauce is delicious. Tortilla's very thick. Such a yeah. shame. Focus on the sauce, not the tortilla, please. It's very doughy, it's very heavy. It should be way thinner. It's a great shame. Well, that really screwed the pooch a little bit. Tim's handmade fettuccine with bacon and vegetables. So fettuccine is thin, it's thick, it's undercooked. A lot of attention on the pasta, but that actually weighed you down and sandbagged you as opposed to elevating. Turkey tends to be leaner, so making a delicious sauce could be where the focus should be spent. Yes, chef. May not be the best homemade pasta, but I think the flavors were pretty good. If anything saves me, it's my flavors. All right, everyone, I think we need a second to chat for sure, right? Absolutely. So, yeah. so. Excuse me. Yeah, some great dishes there, by the way. Fried chicken, exceptional. I want to put it in a bag and take it home. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to go call my wife and tell me they said my chicken was incredible. <laughs> my God, the noodles at the end with the fettuccine, terrible. Yeah. And then the uh, tortilla, bright white inside, yeah. and just like really dry. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, tough. Really dry. What do you think? Really yes. Good? Okay. These decisions do not come easily, and we don't take them lightly, that's for sure. For sure. So the first three people moving up to the top level are Isaiah, Gabby, and Jordan. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, you three. Good work. Thank, Thank you. you. You can head to the elevator. You've made it to the top level. Thank you, chefs. Thank you. Started from the bottom, now we at the top, baby. Let's go. Okay, the next two people that made it to the top level are Nicole and Matt. Congratulations. You can join your colleagues in the elevator. Thank you. Good job. Okay, Brittany and Tim, I know this isn't easy. Unfortunately, only one of you can make it to the top level kitchen. I really, really want to make it to the top kitchen, but like the stress, the anxiety, this is not chill. Oh, this is so intense. The person who's moving on is? Oh gosh, I'm gonna go home over my al dente pasta. Brittany and Tim, only one of you can make it to the top level kitchen. The person who's moving on is? Brittany. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Brittany. Tim, millions of people watch your stuff on social media, and I know that you're a super talented cook, and it just wasn't one of your best days. No, it wasn't. Best of luck, Tim. Thank you. I'm very disappointed that I'm leaving this early. Being a social media chef, I never really had distinguished chefs tasting my food. I guess the pressure just made me freeze and try to go for the gold when I sort of just simplified. Welcome to the best kitchen in the world. Oh, oh my God. No. I'm used to cooking in a Brooklyn kitchen. This is like a Vegas restaurant in here. <laughs> Insane kitchen. OK. One cook away from entering the draft. 20 minutes is going to go fast, so use that time wisely. You'll be cooking one extraordinary next-level dish. There are no excuses when we're cooking with the kind of ingredients you're going to witness seconds from now. Get yourself into that draft. Line up, guys. Good luck. I want to be one of the five selected chefs to move on more than anything in life. The platform is moving. I put in all this work for all these years, trying to impress my fans, my family, my wife. Three, two, if I go down, I'm going down fighting. Go, let's go! Oh. Grab, grab, grab! Oh my God! I'm looking around this platform, trying to find something familiar. I see stuff I've never even cooked with before, but I've always wanted to, but it was a little bit too expensive. Get in there, guys. I see that rack of lamb, and I knew that rack of lamb was it. 
There's no excuses now, all right? You have the best ingredients in the world. I'm gonna get myself on a team. <laughs> Both hands, grab, come on. Uh, going, it's going. Well done. 20 minutes to get yourself into draft. Your time starts now. Let's go. Let's go, chef. Let's go, let's go, baby. Let's go, let's go. Auditions help to fine tune our teams, and it's a great insight for me. I'll spot things that Richard and Naisha will never see. Ooh, that's bubbling. Brittany, what'd you grab? I grabbed some halibut, some bacon, green oh, onions, ricotta, and some it. bread. No other veg? Just that one spring onion. And one, one Oh, wait, no. I have lemon. OK, good for the halibut. <laughs> and one spinach leaf? I have a potato and Damn. some garlic. <laughs> my intention is to use that one leaf of spinach and salt it with my tears, because I don't have any other vegetables. This excitement behind the social media, uh, how did it start? Um, well, I lost my cat, and I just did not feel right eating, because I'm like, she's out there fighting for her life. Right. And so I was like, if I film it, it'll feel like work. Was it stolen? No, but I hired a, I hired a lost cat detective. You hired a lost cat detective? Did you find this cat? According to my cat medium, she's out there, Good and she's being medium. fed, yeah. Wow. She's into her cat. I love it. So cute. What's the cat's name? Her name is Nomi. If you see Brittany's cat, please, please bring, bring Nomi home. <laughs> yes. um, don't give up. I'm not okay? going to give up. But just get yourself in that draft first, yes. and I'll take care of the cat, okay? OK? Good luck. Two minutes gone. Oh, boy. Please tell me you haven't lost a dog. No, 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 okay, no good, not good, at all, good, good. Girlfriend? <laughs> I'm married, I'm You're married. Okay, great. And what does she think about this social media phenomenon? Oh, man, she's the reason I started social media, man. She showed me how to edit, record my videos, just be more confident. Football was my first love. Got me all the way to college, and due to injury, it ended abruptly. But it was a blessing in disguise. You have 30 seconds to grab any ingredients you need off the platform. Next Level came out when I seen it. I was like, oh my god. The show was like just such a cool idea. I, I loved it. I would do skits on my page, just acting like I'm on Next Level Chef. Go, six seconds, let's go. Let's get on the platform, four. My viewers fell in love with it. I am a very competitive person. I know what it is to be in the trenches, so I'm ready, I'm ready. Man, what'd you grab? A Wagyu New York strip. You've got the hero. Everybody watching you tonight wants their hands on that strip, OK? Guys, eight minutes gone. Make this count. Ooh. Ooh. Scare me, guys. Scare me. Matt, how are you feeling? What do you I got? got these beautiful purple potatoes, rack nice. of lamb, the beer of ham. You've got the best cut, but can you cook a rack of lamb in 20 minutes? I don't think you can. 45 minutes, I can do a whole rack. 20 minutes, I know for a fact I have to cut it into chops. Coachable. More coachable than I thought. I love this part because in the auditions, we get to scout potential team members or throw my fellow mentors off my scent. That's right, Gordon. I know who I'm looking at. Got a fruit. I am a good student. Gabby, what'd you grab? I got some duck breast. Wow, yeah. we got from one extreme to the other. Tilapia to duck breast. Yes. I've never cooked duck, and I'm so nervous. The secret of cooking great duck is letting it rest. I'm taking in every word he's saying. Get that skin side down, render that fat out. It's my key to making this dish incredible. Just stir it, otherwise it turns great. Mm, he is the key. I need the key. Listen to Gordon, do what he says. Cause if you don't, you'll probably go home. Six and a half minutes to go. How are we feeling, everybody? Let's go, keep working. Nicole, the secret behind that tuna is searing it and letting it rest as well. You got a nice color on there like that. That's beefy duck. Oh my God, I need one of these for my life. Okay, Jordan. Yes, sir. Tell me about it, what are we doing? Um, we're basically getting a nice color on here. We're gonna dance those vegetables around those scallops. Good. A little butter base, beautiful. Good. Good luck. Thank you, chef. Final two minutes. Let's go. All right, chef. Start plating. Raw now, chef. Just need more cooking. Oh my god, I am absolutely terrified. I need to make sure I have enough time to cook it perfectly. Woo! The pressure's on, man. I'm I'm sweating right now. Hop behind. Hop behind. Come on, y'all. Turn up. Turn up. It's hard, man. They're social media chefs. They're not used to this. Thirty seconds to go. Woo! Three. Two, one, and stop. Let's go, baby. Let's air. go, let's go. Ah! ah, let's go. Richard Naisha, welcome back. 
That was insane. <sighs> insane. Even before we start tasting, just the visual impact, it is absolutely clear that these are social media stars. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Impressed. Thank you. Let's get down to business. Let's start off with this caramelized slow roasted duck. So with a coconut, gochujang, sort of almost like a sort of fragrant curry. This was executed by Gabby. Duck tends to be sort of rich and fatty. This has a nice levity to it. It's really bright and fun. I think it's the most dangerous protein you could have cooked tonight, uh, and you've actually nailed it. It's That's uh, my first time. So. What? I am mostly a vegetarian chef, so yeah. You've never cooked duck before? Never. You've nailed it. Next up is a halibut. Uh, Brittany, um, no greens. There was a bit of a mishap with the uh, grab. Yeah, maybe a little bit under seasoned. Looking for a little bit of vegetables, but again, a classic combination. Potatoes, fish, the bacon really, really serves the dish well. The potatoes are actually my favorite part of it. There are tons of flavor in them, but I think the fish um, is a little bit under seasoned, sort of undercooked around the edges. So this was cooked by Zaire. Wagyu served with a puree. I mean, prime time ingredient for sure. Classic interpretation. Good stuff. This is Nicole. This is a seared tuna. It's encrusted with sesame seed, blistered tomatoes, uh, and roasted uh, starch. I think you nailed the tuna. It's delicious. I'm getting a nice texture from the sesame. The vegetables feel like a little bit of an afterthought. Maybe an opportunity to see a green, right, to brighten it up. But um, overall, great progression. Thank you. Uh, Rekha lamb. Uh, smartly broken down to chops, executed by Matt. Uh, marinated first, then grilled. Um, so with the puree, uh, Iberico ham as well. Potatoes for me are a little salt heavy. Again, I'm a big fan of vegetables. I, I would like to see a vegetable on a plate. Lamb's cooked beautifully. And it's pink, and the fat is delicious. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much. Um, Jordan grabbed the scallops, um, blistered tomatoes, roasted the veg, and then made this fragrant tomato essence. What I love about this, really hard to cook a proper scallop, but you got a nice sear on that. Thank you. I'm really impressed with this. The Thank you, Chef. complexity and simplicity is, it's beautiful. Um, scallops are perfection. I mean, it's got finesse. It's sort of magazine cover material, but it tastes Thank as you. good as it looks. I'm a social media chef. I just started cooking four years ago. What alternate universe am I living in right now? Right, you six, um, now we come down to the most important decision of the night. We need a very, very serious few minutes together. Thank you, Chef. Thank you so much. That's tough. All right. Really tough. Uh, Nailed those scallops, bro. Um, scallops, what do you think? Did you cook the scallops? Yeah, honestly, uh, uh, this kid comes in cooking like an angel. Is that a fluke, the fact that she'd never cooked duck before? And that duck comes out like that. She seems to have this innate sensibility about proteins and pairing them. Brittany is how it needed something green. It needs citrus. It was screaming for something. Green. Something. The lamb dish only had the lamb and a starch on that plate. Mm -hmm. The meat was cooked perfectly, don't? I'm so scared. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I'm happy with the choice, and I, I think I found my first pick, maybe. Wow! Oh, wow! I'm playing those cards already. Wow! Shall we? Two. Now, before we reveal our decision, I'd like to remind all of you what's at stake. Oh, Ooh. gosh. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Five aprons and five amazing Next Level Chef jackets. That's what's at stake right there. But you have to make it onto one of our teams. I'd be happy to be on any one of these amazing chef teams, but I'd be lying if I said that Chef Ramsay apron wouldn't look real good on me. All six of your performances tonight reaffirmed you deserve to be here. Super impressive. Thank, Thank you, much. sir. The first person entering the draft, congratulations goes to... Jordan. Oh, yeah. Well done. Yes! Go! Thank you, Chef. Let's get it. The next person into the final five, congratulations, goes to Gabby. Oh, my God. Well Thank done. you. Thank you so much. The third person earning their spots on one of our teams 
is Nicole. Congratulations. Ooh. Well done. You're <laughs> the fourth person who's made their way into the draft. Isaiah. <laughs> OK. Matt and Brittany, this is a difficult one. Both young, promising, great futures, but only one of you can make it into the top five. The final social media chef. Oh, this is so intense. Why am I putting myself through this? Moving into the draft. But I'm so close. Congratulations goes to. Just waiting for that last name to be called. My heart is racing. I can't even describe how badly I want to get on one of these chef's teams. The final social media chef moving into the draft. Congratulations goes to Matt. Oh. Congratulations, bro. Congratulations. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Brittany, um, I think you got a little bit frazzled from the grab because you got the protein beauty done, but there was nothing surrounding it. I'm not done here. Y'all can find me online. Please say goodbye to your fellow social media chefs and head into the elevator. Hey, All right, come here, everybody. Get in here. Come on. Yeah, yeah, come on. Here, come on, mate. I would love to work with these mentors, and I would love to win that much money. Great job, Brittany. Make sure we get hold of that cat. But Chef Ramsay shouted my cat out, and he complimented my holidays. And I love that for me. Congratulations. Thank you. You're now the top five social media <laughs> chefs <laughs> in this Let's country. Let's go! Yeah. OK? Yeah. Now you're in the competition. Moving into the draft, I've got my eye on quite a lot of you. It's only the beginning. Don't make any silly mistakes. Yeah, chef. In true social media fashion, let's do a selfie. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We got to get Come on, let's go. In each way. One, two, three. Well done. Thank you. Good night. Woo! Thank you, chefs. <laughs> Next time on Next Level Chef. Go time. Today, we are starting with the eight home cooks. This is so crazy. I'm not even on the competition yet. I'm still just auditioning. Oh. I said get the pan hot, but don't burn the and everybody else was so calm. What the hell's wrong with me? I'm panicking. It is a disaster. And I have no clue where to take it from here. Have you got any last words before you leave? Follow me and find my cat, please. <laughs>